cut off. We got that, that gunk and junk. Cut it open. Cut you open. Dig in there. Pull it out. Burn it once it gets out. Burn it. You don't need that disdain or anger or bitterness anymore. That unfaithfulness. That fear. That worry. That anxiety. Get that mess out of there. Forgive. Even if you got to forgive yourself. Forgiving yourself is as important as forgiving someone else. Did you know that? You need to know that. Forgive yourself as well. Heal, learn, grow, change, make a new plan, pray and pursue. Get back on the road, get back on the journey. Maybe the plans have changed, maybe the income have changed, maybe the location have changed, maybe the job have changed, maybe the significant other has changed, maybe your, your children no longer um, living over here, whatever it is. No matter, it's a new president. There are wars going on around the world. There's there there are people losing their jobs. There's people that's losing their life, and you don't you, you you're still angry, and you don't know how to forgive. You don't know how to grow and change. You don't even know how to take love in. Don't you want to grow? Don't you want to be better? Don't you want to heal yourself and move forward and help somebody else? And I'm not saying you got to break yourself open for everybody and just give yourself away and let people abuse you, walk over you. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is just your one little smile might help somebody else today. Everything is not worth an argument. Everything is not worth fighting. Oh, I don't like your hair color. Okay, no problem. And keep it moving. The people are used to you fighting over that. Oh, I can't believe you're talking to me like that. Ask me how I know. I used to, I used to be ready to snap people up. Now I'm trying. I'm I'm not perfect. So whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't even go there. Don't go there. Like, oh, minima. No, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. Okay. What I want you to know is you need to, or if you want to, not need to, because I'm not going to force you to do anything and nobody can force you to do anything. It would be nice if you take a little bit of time to try to do something different to grow yourself, to heal yourself, to mend yourself, to forgive yourself, to move forward. Yes, to move forward. And just, you know, just love up on yourself and learn, wait a minute, learn how to receive love. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Just learn how to, everybody's calling, texting me now, of course, that I'm trying to record this. Absolutely. Yeah, and I'm just like, okay, so I apologize. I keep seeing me slide stuff up. That my family always does that. <laughs> it's like a conspiracy. It's like they can feel that I'm doing something. When I'm not doing absolutely nothing, I'll call or text, and they don't call or text back or nothing. But once again, we cannot let that take us down because people have their own lives as well. Is We don't know that the other person is busy. We have no idea. For me, a call or a video call, I try to text first and ask if it's okay because I don't want to assume that you're not doing anything or that you're available. But yeah, I just, I want us, and I'm saying us because it's all of us, to learn how to receive love. And I'm I'm not expounded on loving because a lot of us love freely. I mean, listen, I be loving like a fool. <laughs> I be loving like a fool, man. Man, and we're not going to go into that right now. Just looking, looking like a dummy. Loving up on somebody, L looking like a dummy. Loving up on a friend, family member, coworker, just, just yeah. And other people like I hate them, and ain't no way I would be doing that. They stay at my brother, and I'm not gonna let them, you know. And I'll be like, I forgive them, and I'm gonna move forward because I'm not going to hell for anybody at the end of the day. And I know some people don't believe in heaven and hell. That's your business. I'll tell you what my thoughts are. I don't want to go sleep at night with that kind of anger and bitterness in my heart. I don't. I don't. Because I have my issues and all the things that I've done and have not done that I should have done that could wait on me. And I'm I'm trying to forgive other people the same way I want God to forgive me. Oh, believe me, it's a process. It's a journey. But what I'm saying is learning to receive love. That, mean, that mess is deep to me. That mess is deep to me because some of us, I mean, we got people that... Oh, Lord Jesus will give you their own feet to walk on and you you can't even figure out why. You can't figure out that somebody loves you that much. Some of y'all need some counselor, but that's another story for a different day. We're not even going to go into that. <sighs> love you guys. Love you. Love you big time. 
I hope that you guys will have a great week. If it's a difficult week for you, I'm praying for you and I'm rooting for you. Because believe me, I got some things going on this week. And I don't know how some things are going to come together. I don't even, sometimes I don't know who's with me on this journey or not. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep going. I really am. I tell you, I tell you, if, if, if my money is going tomorrow, if my car and my house is going tomorrow, if my significant um, friends and family are going tomorrow, I, I'm going to keep going. I got to keep going. I'm going to cry. I'm going to roll over. But I'm a, when I roll over, I'm going to be rolling forward, not backwards. Because somebody somewhere needs me. And one of the most important people is me. So I'm just telling you guys that. It might sound selfish, but there are times where you got to pick yourself up. Because some people you thought was going to help pick you up, they, the heck, heck they're not. And I almost cuss. The hell they're not. So I'm going to say it for the sake of this. Some people are not going to pick you up. So you might as well just stop forgetting. I mean, not stop forgetting. Stop even thinking it. Sometimes it's people you don't think are going to be there that will. And sometimes they won't be there. It might be a stranger. It might be somebody you don't even know passing by and help you out. You never know. A lot of times our help has to start on the inside. Start on the inside. Learn to love yourself. So you can love others and learn how to receive love. You, it's, that's so important. But that's all I'm going to say. These messages were not supposed to go this long. The first one is what? Almost 20 minutes. Um, I love you guys. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Stay in prayer if that's what you do. Stay planning. When you plan, you can see things come to fruition. Uh, if fruition, I hope I'm saying it right. Plan. Pursue. Um, have purpose in your passion. Okay? So, I'll talk to you guys the next time.